coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. NASA suits up for future missions. Textron undertakes special Olympics airlift. Air Force flight hours down in 2021. Welcome to Airborne Unlimited. I'm your host, Holland Lee. Let's get into today's stories. NASA suits up for future missions. In preparation for expanding orbital and exploratory missions, NASA has selected Axiom Space and Collins Aerospace to develop and produce advanced spacesuits and spacewalk systems. The next generation gear will serve astronauts working outside the International Space Station, as well as those selected for the upcoming Artemis mission. The awards, which leverage NASA expertise with private sector innovation, enable selected vendors to compete for task orders with the end purpose of providing the agency a full suite of capabilities for its spacewalking needs through 2034. The companies selected were chosen from the Exploration Extravehicular Activity Services contract solicitation, which has a combined maximum potential value of $3.5 billion. Competing companies will invest significant amounts of their own money into the development of their products and will retain ownership of such. This new approach encourages an emerging commercial market for a range of customers and grants NASA the right to use the same data and technologies within the agency and on future exploration program procurements. And after the break, FAA certifies Sage Tech Modest Transponder with integrated ADSB in and out. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at AviationSafetyResources.com. In Diamond Aircraft, innovation is in our DNA. Whether you're taking to the skies for training or business travel, every aircraft in Diamond's lineup features innovative technology, an industry-leading safety record, superior performance and efficiency, and a comfortable flying experience. No other company has pioneered as many aviation firsts, achieved more milestones, or received the same amount of industry praise as Diamond. Discover why Diamond Aircraft is one of the most trusted manufacturers in aviation at diamondaircraft.com. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some other interesting stories. FAA certifies Sage Tech Modest Transponder with integrated ADS-B in and out. Sage Tech Avionics has received a TSO for its MXS Mode S Transponder with integrated ADS-B in and out. The MXS Miniature Transponder provides modes A, C, S, and 1090 MHz ADS-B in and out and is suitable for use worldwide by crewed or uncrewed systems. In addition, each transponder comes with user-friendly command and control software with a built-in traffic display to enhance situational awareness. Furthermore, the units can be used plug-and-play with PX4 and Ardupilot-based autopilots. Gulfstream to upgrade Wisconsin facility. Gulfstream Aerospace Corporation has announced it's investing more than $55 million in its Appleton, Wisconsin facility. The move is the latest in a series of expansions that have seen the Savannah, Georgia company erect new facilities in Fort Worth, Texas and Mesa, Arizona, while supplementing its customer support call center in Farnborough, England. The business jet powerhouse also announced plans to hire more than 200 engineers, mechanics, avionics technicians, and highly skilled trade and craftspeople to populate the growing Appleton operation. Suhoi and MIG merger moves forward. 20th century and Cold War icon Suhoi and MIG have merged with the United Aircraft Corporation. Formed in 2006 to consolidate numerous Russian aerospace manufacturers that struggled to retain relevancy after the collapse of the Soviet Union, UAC presently counts Ilyushin, Irkut, Mikoyan, Suhoi, Tupolev, and Yakolev among its subsidiaries. UAC is itself a subsidiary of Rostec Russian, a state-owned corporation that owns over 700 enterprises, including nearly the entirety of Mother Russia's military-industrial complex. UAL to expand Denver training facility. 
United Airlines has announced plans to expand its flight training center to facilitate the carrier's plans to hire 10,000 more pilots by 2030. The expansion will see a new four-story building and 12 new full-motion flight simulators added to the airline's 23-acre campus in Denver's Central Park neighborhood. Currently, the campus features seven buildings comprising 550,000 square feet of space, 39 full-motion simulators, and 15 fixed training devices. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. Textron undertakes Special Olympics airlift. Textron Aviation and upward of 120 Cessna, Beechcraft, and Hawker owners and operators have been transporting more than 800 athletes and coaches to the 2022 Special Olympics USA Games in Orlando, Florida. The 2022 airlift will be the eighth Textron Aviation has coordinated. With the generous help of its aircraft customers, industry partners, and volunteers, Textron has transported thousands of athletes and their coaches to participate in the popular games. So popular, prolific, and well-organized is this year's airlift that a Textron Aviation aircraft will take off or land every two minutes throughout the effort. Textron Aviation works closely with the FAA to create a roster of precise aircraft departure times from airports around the country and to identify specific, prioritized airways for airlift participants. Each aircraft receives a special dove call sign, which affords it priority treatment in the air traffic system, thereby ensuring the massive operation remains on schedule throughout both Saturday, June 4th, when the athletes arrive in Orlando, and June 12th, when they will return to their home bases. Longtime customer and Special Olympics supporter Coca-Cola Consolidated will be the first aircraft to land at the Orlando Executive Airport. The company's Cessna Citation XLS Plus will receive the special designation Dove 1. And after these messages, Air Force flight hours down in 2021. Pilot Communications USA is proud to introduce our latest headsets, the Carbon A1 Active Noise Reduction and the Carbon P1 Passive Headset. Carbon fiber makes our headsets 30% lighter than others, which significantly reduces pilot fatigue. Our Blue Link Hand Control Unit allows you to connect two devices at the same time, and the record out capability can send audio to an onboard camera or digital recorder. Get the headset that's so light you may forget you're wearing one at pilot-usa.com. Whether you're charting a steady course or pushing for the ceiling, Hartzell Propeller has been elevating flight for over 100 years. It's in our passion for engineering and research. It's in our dedication to testing the limits of performance and creating propellers that are as safe as they are sexy. Now, together with our dedicated family of companies, we're propelling the future of aviation. We are Hartzell Propeller, built on honor. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit flyskyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Welcome back. Air Force flight hours down in 2021. Across all categories, excepting reconnaissance, the active duty Air Force flew fewer hours in fiscal 2021 than it did the previous year. Flying hours are key to readiness and are a good overall barometer of other readiness factors, such as pilot and spare parts availability, speed of throughput at depots, and operations budgets. Flying hours are also affected by combat operations. Inadequate flying hours reduce pilot proficiency and correlate with increased accident rates. According to Air Force figures, pilot flying hours across all types of aircraft in the active duty force averaged 10.1 hours per month in fiscal 2021, down from 10.9 hours in 2020. In 2019, flying hours averaged just 6.8 per month, down sharply from 10.8 in 2018. Hours for 2022 have yet to be provided. The service offered no comments about the drop in flight time. At a June 1st Heritage Foundation event, Air Force Secretary Frank Kendall said, quote, I'm not happy with where we are, end quote, regarding flying hours. Kendall said Obama's 2011 Budget Control Act forced the Air Force to restrict hours for a decade and the service, quote, never recovered. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.